Philip. Hello everyone. Have you ever taken a look at the nutrition label on the product when you go to the market? Uh, have you been aware of how much sugar does a product contain? For example, a cereal box often contains 9 grams of sugar and a Coca-Cola contains 39 grams of sugar. And did you know that 13 grams of sugar is equivalent to 4 tablespoons of sugar? This is a picture representing how much sugar each Coca-Cola box con can contain which is a lot of sugar. So my topic today is about processed food and the secrets of sugar. According to the survey, according to the National Health Nutrition Examination, its survey revealed that processed foods often contain eight times more sugar than the less processed products such as uh, cheese and meat, and five times more sugar than the unprocessed foods such as vegetables. So to avoid adding the excessive amount of sugar in our body, we should reduce buying and consuming the processed food. I used to be a victim of this and gaining a lot of weight until in my illness class 102 I did a research on obesity I realized that my processed food problem come from the processed foods that I consume. So my speech today is uh, my speech today is about encourage you to take action against the process food consumption. So first of all, I would like to discuss the dangerous effects of processed food on our health. And then I we will look at some strategy that can help us reduce by any consuming processed food. And finally, I would like to take some time, uh, take time to visualize the, some of the benefits that can come from applying this strategy. Uh, so let's move on to our first main point. Processed foods is very dangerous for us because more of us are unaware of the chemical substance that's within in our health. Uh, first of all, uh, first of all, um, processed meat such as hot dog and sausage can link to cancer. According to the International Agency for Research on Cancer, processed Meat contain a lot of preservative system that can uh, lead to cancer, and even they are have been placed in the same group of agents that cause cancer like tobacco, as you can see. Uh, specifically, hot dog with they are often um they, with they are often go uh, they are often been through the curing process, so they are more likely to incorporate it. The chemical compound called and nitro soil compound that the, the that the compound can lead to cancer. Fructose is another substance that can lead to obesity and diabetes. Fruct um because because fructose often concentrate in our blood, so if we have too much fructose in our body, we are more likely to uh, get diabetes. Additionally, fructose make our body uh, to have the leptin resistance. So leptin is a hormone, a hormone that make us feel full. So if we have the leptin resistance, we are more we are more likely to eat more and but still feel but not feel full and eat more unconsciously. Like I said in the beginning. 99% of processed food contain a lot of sugar, uh, which is very unhealthy for our health. Now we are aware of the harmful effects of processed food. There are a number of things that we can do to make changes to our eating habits. Uh, first, we must agree to reduce buying processed food when we go when we go to the market. So the first of all, I would like to introduce the immediate strategies. So when you go to the subway or QC next time, uh, you should go straight to the to get the vegetable and fruits only to put in your shopping cart, and then get the the whole foods such as meat, salmon, and tuna or any kind of fish. 
Um, by doing that, our shopping cart will be full of vegetable and healthy foods only. And uh, even and even if some of you might still want to buy some processed food, which um, you should only allow yourself to put uh, the processed food in the small part of the shopping cart chest on the top of the shopping cart. By uh, and another place uh, by doing that, we can reduce the amount the processed food we're going to purchase. The second strategy is because we are more attentive to eat the snack if we see them on the, our in our fridge or in our table. So I suggest that when you go, go home tonight, look around your house and then find all the processed food in you have put them in a garbage can. And instead restore your fridge only with green and healthy food. By doing that you will you will more likely to eat healthy food. A more long term strategy is to changing your is to changing your eating your cooking habits. Uh, because most of us busy with school and work so we don't want to spend a lot of time to cook every day. So I suggest that spend your weekend so I mean, one of your weekend day to cook and prepare the food for that we going that you are going to to spend them on the next whole week and then divide the food into small parts and put them in the bento box like this so we have different kind of the food we have and so uh, at the end you should have six bento box for the morning six six box for the lunch and six bento box for the dinner store all of them in the refrigerator by doing that so each morning when you wake up you just need to open your refrigerator and take three of the box, put in your pepper and go to school. That's when you can save a lot of time. Uh, now I believe that we are able to take action and follow the strategy that I outlined. But what if we choose to be part of the solution? Uh, are you are you happier if you can lose some pounds? I believe that uh, I believe that the answer is yes, definitely. Um, the second, secondly, uh, we will be healthier and feel less hungry by cutting back on processed food. You will eat less sugar, and therefore your hungry will go down, and you end up eating much fewer calories. More importantly, uh, we can we can reduce the risk of getting diabetes and ob obesity as a result. For me, uh, when I apply this strategy, I not only improve my cooking skill but also improve my time, minutes, time management skill and 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 I start to and I feel and I prefer eating the whole food rather than processed food because they taste because they the, the taste is better than processed food. Let's move on to our conclusion. Now you know how badly processed food can impact in our health as well as Acquire some solution you can do tonight and for your next shop shopping day. Um, I would like I would like to send you a list of bento box video that I found in YouTube, in YouTube and and send you to your and send send them to your emails so that you can watch and uh, prepare to cook for the next in your next week in in, in your weekend. So um. So make sure to check your email today. Uh, for me, this strategy, I lost 10 pounds by applying this strategy, so I hope this strategy will help you. We uh, we uh, we work for you, and if you strictly follow the plan that I outlined. Okay, thank you so much.